Okay, court has been very clear about the fact that the court did not find that Amber Heard's claims of abuse against John Depp were false. What the Virginia court found was that she had defamed him by writing the truth of what happened to her. And the reason that that is the judgment is because they also found in her favour that she had been defamed by John Depp's legal team when they called her allegations a hoax. That is the fact. The other fact is that in 2020, the UK High Court ruled that 12 out of 14 Amber Heard's allegations of abuse against John Depp were credible. They were credible and proved to a public measure. So we have two legal rulings that coexist, neither of which actually discredit the fact that this abuse occurred and that he perpetrated it. So the idea that somehow he won his case and she was proved to be a liar is false. He didn't win a criminal trial against her. She wasn't convicted of anything. What he had greater success in the courtroom in Virginia, a courtroom that he and his legal team shopped around for specifically because of its lax defamation laws, defamation laws that favor the money of the individual power brokers. They do not protect individuals from spurious claims. What he had greater success at was convincing a jury of five men and two women, none of whom were sequestered during the course of the trial and all of whom had access to the same social media fucking circus that we've been exposed to for the last seven weeks. He managed to convince five of them that he was the hero in the scenario, but he didn't convince seven of them that the abuse hadn't happened, which is where the claim that she filed, the counterclaim of defamation that she went on is key. It was not a hoax. So Winnie, I'm just trying to find a wind break. The outcome in the UK is still on the public record. That ruling still stands. It hasn't been canceled out by the success of Depp and his team in Virginia, which as I said, is a jurisdiction that is better disposed to support very powerful, very rich abusers who use the legal system to their advantage precisely because of its lax defamation laws and the fact that it doesn't have any slack legislation in place to prevent the use of the legal system to go after and attack people with less power and money. That is how he was able to do it. As the mama and tortoise said, the attorney said, go with the tortoise. If he had tried to pull this shit in California where he and her actually live, he would have been thrown out of court because they would have been a violation of her free speech and her First Amendment. They don't care so much about the First Amendment, I guess, when it comes to women they don't like, right? Guns though. And he's still laboring under the delusion that somehow this outcome is going to be helpful to victim survivors of domestic abuse and is going to support them in their claims against their abusers, then guess again. Because you've just supported a system that has allowed the abuser to fucking use the legal system to make it so much harder for everyone else. Congratulations. And really one of the only things that gives me any kind of pleasure throughout all of this is knowing that a narcissist like John Depp is not going to tolerate all of his fans for long. He already has violent records of assaulting paparazzi. You think he's going to treat his fans and their clicking cameras any differently? You think that John Depp, who is frequently intoxicated to the point of trashing public property, is going to not eventually, any day soon, attack someone in the street because they dared to come up and say how much they loved him. And I'm going to enjoy that moment when they all realise exactly how fucking cool they've been.